Guys, I love filming. And if you at all like watching any of my videos, please let me know because that will make my whole day, my whole freaking life, okay? Oh, great. Now I have no battery. Guys, I literally just sat down to film and it says I am, like, you know, like when you're filming, I mean, probably not a YouTuber, but like if you are a YouTuber, you know the struggle, like when you literally just sit down to film and your camera goes from like two bars to battery to one and it turns red and you have like about three seconds before it dies on you. I'm going to see how much I can film. Anyway, sorry for that little rant, ramble, whatever, but hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you tuned in today or like to this video. I really wanted to film. I filmed this look. Can you guys see this look? Sorry, the lighting is like really something I should probably be ashamed of, but it's really pretty. Um, but I don't know if you can, the camera's probably not doing it justice. The lighting, it probably looks like I'm filming at night, even though it's literally, you know, four o'clock, but whatever, it's bright outside and this is just, this is what I'm working with, okay? I'm telling you guys, it will get better this summer, I promise you, I promise you. But I wanted to film a really quick events video. My camera's like low battery and it's like yelling at me to stop filming. It's like stop filming or I'm gonna shut down. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it really quickly. There's one product in here that I've only used once, but it's freaking bomb. Um, but like I can't say it's like my favorite yet, but I do wanna like show it to you. I have a bucket of them right here. So first things first, I am starting out with chopsticks um, because like this past month have has been like the kick of chopstick. Like I've always just used like a whatever chopstick, but I found three that do wonders. And it's not like I have super dry lips anyway. I have pretty normal lips, but but still. Okay, so here are the three that I have. This one I don't like to use at night because it has SPF 25, but it's like super good for the day. And it's like, it's so moisturizing. It's amazing. You can get it at Sephora. It's the Jack Black Lip Balm, the Natural Mint and Shea Butter one. It's so, it's so nice. So that's for the daytime that I use. Then I have two that I switch up between at night. So I have the Carmex, just the classic lip balm, medicated, whatever. It's just like the classic one you get at CVS. It just comes in a little pot, just like this one. This is the Bliss Tech one. And if you don't like the flavor of this, they also have like a vanilla one. I've never tried it, but this one, like, it works. Like, it really works. Like, all three of these products really work. So, let me show you. So, yeah, this is the Bliss Tech one. Bliss Tech, sorry, one. And this is the Carmex one. And they're, they're bomb. They're freaking bomb. So, yeah, that's those. Okay, next product, sorry, I'm like rushing as fast as I can. Next product is a beauty blender. You're probably like, what the hell? Okay, I have loved beauty blenders literally since they came out a million years ago, but I feel like they've started to go out of style and I don't know why, but I feel like people are like, yeah, let's just go back to like the good old brushes and like, that's it. And that's fine. I totally agree with some parts of that, but like for under eye concealer, I will never use anything other than a beauty sponge. Like, in general. Like, the Real Techniques one is really good, but that's the only one, other one that I've tried that I've really liked. Like, the ones from Forever 21, like, super cheap ones, I really don't think they do anything close to what this is. And people are like, oh my god, it's $20 for a sponge. But, like, you can reuse this so many times, and it's literally so good. It's It just makes your makeup honestly flawless. Why is it so dark? What the hell? You guys. What the? Why is it so dark? I don't get it. I don't know. Okay. I really hope it's not showing up like it's on there. It looks like the lights are literally dim. All the lights are on in here. Okay. Beauty blenders. You should get one. They're coming back in style. I'm bringing them back. Okay. Next. I just wanted to mention Makeup Geek shadows. Like, I know that everyone loves them, but like just this month in particular, I've just gravitated that towards them pretty much every single time I've done my makeup. This is like... The palette that I use, it's you can't like buy this palette. It's all like single shadows that I put in an extra large Z palette. But guys, Makeup Geek, their their shadows are just freaking phenomenal. So I would say they're one of my top three favorite um, brands for eyeshadow. So yeah, oh, I threw it, but okay. Like, I'm zooming through this. The next product is a brush. This also has been around for a while, and I've been using it. I, I've had it for a while, but, like, I really started using it, like, a lot, like, every single day more recently. This is the Anastasia A23. It's sort of, like, infamous or, like, famous, I guess, for highlighting. It's incredible. It just gets, like, 
it's perfect. The size, the bristles, it applies the right amount. It's just great. So if you want an amazing brush and like bring your highlighting game up to the next level, which we all do, then you need this brush in your life. So I'll leave that down below. Okay, next, I'm like almost done here. I'm like rushing through this. Next is this. I've only used it once, okay? Um, this is the YSL Touche Clay Blur Primer. I don't know. I probably butchered that like really, really horribly, but you know what? It's okay. Um, it has like gold flecks in it. First of all, it's like beautiful to look at. Like it's literally a piece of art. And second of all, um, I'm going to, you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm just going to link it down below or put up a picture. It worked. I just used it today for the first time and it's freaking phenomenal. Okay. Granted, I do have to use it like at least 10 times before I call it like my favorite. Um, but like this is going to be like my new go-to. It's incredible. It's very, very good. Let me just try to show you. I don't know if it's going to want to pick it up or not. Okay. Okay, it doesn't want to pick it up. Okay, whatever. All right, last two things. This is like a super quick one. This, okay, wait, first of all. This is the MAC Dazzle Glass in the shade Prancin' Dancin'. And I wore this to prom like on top of some lipstick it stayed on it well it stays on like medium it's pretty good about staying on but like it's not incredible it's not like a pro long wear or anything um but let me just say the color is beautiful it's so beautiful like I'll swatch it for you you guys can also see it in like my other um let me put that down I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like it's this one right there it's so beautiful and you probably can't see it with this crap-ass lighting. My last product was actually a miss. Hits and misses. I didn't have that many misses, but like this was a hard miss for me. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils. If you are like extremely dry, this would probably be incredible for you. I did feel like it was very good quality, um, but it broke me up a ton. And it's not like I'm super oily either. I'm just I have pretty normal skin. I mean, extremely sensitive, but pretty normal. This, I woke up and I was like all broken out. So I was scared to even try it for a second time. Um, I feel like I kind of should try it for a second time, but um, there's definitely, I feel like there are definitely people that would love this because the packaging is very high quality. The product felt very high quality, um, but just my skin did not agree with it. So that's why it was a miss for me, but it might work for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscription button because, um, you know, you got to be notified when your girl uploads a video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.